Welcome to Spotlight to Panama. Today, I'm taking you inside Innovation Smart District, a vibrant space where entrepreneurs and startups connect, collaborate, and bring their visions to life. Let's dive into this ecosystem of opportunities. pleasure to be with Guillermo Malo de Molina, Chief Technology Officer of this amazing development. Welcome, Guillermo. Thank you very much, Ana Patricia. I'm so excited to have you here. No, I'm excited. <laughs> Guillermo, so our audience can have a better understanding of this innovation hub. Could you share where in Panama it is taking place? Of course. ISD, Innovation Smart District, is taking place in the north part of Panama City okay. in a project called Green Valley Panama. Mm -hmm. People don't know, Ana Patricia, that Panama can't grow anymore. And this is very important for, for the people that, has a, that uh, we're in the real estate business. Mm -hmm. For us, it's very important and people don't know that Panama as a city can't grow anymore. I'm, I'm going to put a, an example, no? Like, this is like Manhattan that has limits of growth. Exactly. This happens also in Panama. In Panama, we have the fantastic uh, Pacific Ocean that people can see, but we can see here exactly. <laughs> from our spot. <laughs> uh, in the south, we have a Panama Canal in the west. We have the airports and the mangroves in the east and the mountains in the north. So mm -hmm. it only can grow in the north. So Green Valley Panama is in the last part of, pa of which the Panama City can grow. Okay. So uh, inside uh, this uh, uh, footprint of Panama City, we are owners of 200 hectares, that is 4,000 acres, I think so, that's the correct way to say it, 4,000 acres of land where we're doing with the best infrastructure. And inside that project, we're developing ISD, that is the, this innovation hub. Could you expand a little on ISD and who the main stakeholders behind it are. So, Ana Patricia, maybe this sounds crazy, but what we're trying to do is Latin Silicon Valley. So this means mm -hmm. that our stakeholders are startups, incubators, accelerators, companies, and VCs. What we're trying to do, in fact, what we're doing, we're giving opportunities to all these actors. People don't know, but we live in a region that we have 650 million people and we need a physical space where all these actors have opportunities. And that's what we are building. Amazing. In your view, what makes Panama so special for this? People don't know, Ana Patricia, but Panama is, the, is a heaven. You're very lucky because you're Panamanian. I'm yes, not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm from Spain. I've been living here in Panama for the last 11 years now, almost 12 years. And people don't know. And Panama is the perfect place to build this up. Panama is a dollarized economy. Mm -hmm. Panama has the most important hub, uh, air, airplane hub in the region. Panama is very safe. This is very important. Yes. And if we're talking about all these things that are true in another country, maybe in Spain, where I'm from, or in Portugal, you will say, okay, that's normal because in Europe, things works like that, but not in the region we are, no? Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we have a region that is very convulsive, no? That these things are not the, the normal thing. Yeah. But on, on that, on that we have the dollarized economy, of course we have Panama Canal, we have the most important airport in the region, we have the best internet in Latin America. People don't know that. We ha even have better internet than in the US, and that's true, because we, can, we have a, the big wires that connect North America and South America pass through a Panama Canal. But on top of that, Panama is an amazing place to live and to work. Panama is a place where we have amazing weather, where every weekend uh, we can go to the beach. I was asking you if you can come on this uh, Friday mm -hmm. to our project to ISD, but you told me. Yes, I can because I'm going to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so this is Panama. This is a yes. safe place. It's a place good to do business. We are dollarless economy. If you get bored and you want to go to Europe, you can go. You have Colombia, uh, maybe 15 flights a day to Colombia, exactly. to Mexico, to Argentina, to Uruguay, to the US. It's, it's very safe to live and to do business. And that's why. Exactly. Guillermo, I understand that the first building of ISD will be completed by the end of the year. Could you tell us a bit about it and what's next? Thank you for the question, Patricia. We are really excited because we have the idea, mm -hmm. we have the land, we have the infrastructure, we have an amazing team, we have the free zone license, that this means that every company that is inside ISD it has migration benefits and tax benefits. Mm, very important. And now we are building our first building that is called Marie Curie Building in honor of the first person that has the Nobel Prize in physics and chemistry. Not only the first person, the only person that has two Nobel Prizes. So we are building Marie Curie is going to be finished by the end of the year and we already have over 70 companies and startups that has signed a letter of intent to be part of Marie Curie, to be part of ISD. And you know what? It's half of them are from outside Panama. We have, Pan um, of course, Panamanian, Colombian, from Mexico, from Brazil, from the US, from Europe. So this means that even before we have our first building, we are validating the idea. And this is just the first of 24 buildings. As CTO, what key technologies and smart solutions you are using to make ISD an intelligent and sustainable district? That's a very good question, Patricia. Also, we have to focus on what technologies are important for Panama. Um, mm -hmm. As ISD, what we're trying, we're looking on Silicon Valley model, no? And Silicon Valley model is based on scaling. So what ISD looks for is those technology, technologies that can scale up, okay. that we can replicate, that we can replicate to the whole Latin America. These are AI, these are our blockchain, cybersecurity. In Panama, we have an amazing opportunity because, as we mentioned, it's a very good place where we can have our companies, where our companies can be safe, they pay low taxes, and from where we can send our um, managers or our C-levels to the rest of the countries. So it's the perfect place to have the headquarters mm -hmm. and scale all these technologies through uh, Latin America. But when we're talking about cybersecurity, uh, AI, blockchain, we don't have uh, borders anymore, you know? No the, the, limits. No limits. Thank you to technology, mm -hmm. uh, the service I'm, I'm, I'm offering to all these countries is pretty much the same, no? Mm -hmm. I know the regulation is new, and uh, uh, so we truly believe that from Panama, we can help all these companies that has these technologies that can scale up to all Latin America. How does tokenization and blockchain fit into ISD's development? So, as I mentioned, um, in ISD, we believe in technology. We believe in disruption. And blockchain is an amazing technology. Yes. Thank you to blockchain. Uh, the stock market is going to change. I don't know if you know, guys, but uh, people are going to buy and sell stocks through blockchain. Mm -hmm. People are going to buy and sell apartments through blockchain. Uh, people are going to verify the quality of anything by blockchain, mm -hmm. even identity. In ISD, we have a one startup that uh, they are backed by Plug and Play, that is one of the best incubators in Silicon Valley. And this startup, it's from Panama. The main team is in Panama. Uh, they have raised over $3 million and they are working a technology that helps to verify identity through blockchain. Uh, 
okay? And uh, soon there will be amazing news in Panama with this startup that is called uh, Polarify. So once set this in um, ISD, we use blockchain mm -hmm. so the different actors of the ecosystem can collaborate. Guillermo, tell us a bit about how ISD support entrepreneurs and startups to grow and thrive. So that's exactly what we do. We mm -hmm. help them. No? We help all the, all the actors. We were talking about BC, we were talking about companies, but also uh, startups and entrepreneurs. Okay. So that's why we have built this uh, program called Road to ISD, you know? Road mm -hmm. to Innovation Smart District. Yeah. And what do we do? We give them advertisement, we give them advice, we give them mentorship, we connect them to other interesting people. Maybe you're a startup and you're looking for uh, someone in your team that um, uh, marketing so we connect you to a specialist in marketing maybe wow. maybe you need mm -hmm. to uh, raise money and that's perfect but before the bc destroys you mm -hmm. we prepare you so you can get prepared before to that meeting no once you're prepared to that meeting of the bc mm -hmm. we present you to the a special bc for you in your case no we also do a lot of events in fact we are the organizers of a startup world cup in nine countries startup world cup is the most important um, event of startups in the world Mm -hmm. In 15 days, we will be in San Francisco, in Bay Area, okay. in the Grand Finale, and we are the regional partners, and we organize it in Panama, in Costa Rica, in Ecuador, in uh, Brazil, in Spain, in Guatemala, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and in that comp competition, uh, uh, 10 startups compete for one uh, spot in the Grand Finale. And in the Grand Finale, the startup that wins, uh, wins at least $1 million in, in investment. So what we give them, uh, we give them opportunities. Maybe they need money, but sometimes they need clients, they need connection, they, that's yes. what we do. It's a perfect partnership, <laughs> amazing. Beyond technology, what's it really like to be part of ISD? Look, in, now in the 21st century, uh, we're looking for something different, no? Mm -hmm. and, and I think that uh, what makes um, business have success is probably the ecosystems. Mm -hmm. And many um, startups and many entrepreneurs or even companies, what they find in ISD is the ecosystem is not only having ISD, the support of ISD, is also finding the possibility of talking to other founders, mm -hmm. uh, talking to other CEOs, and uh, try to understand how, what, what, what is the correct path, no? If maybe you, for example, Ana Patricia, let's suppose you are a founder of an amazing uh, startup, and I'm beginning, having the opportunity to be in the same organization as you are and having the possibility of talking to you, you know, in a confident place that you can speak, you can, because it's, you don't have to be uh, afraid of competing. If you're mm. afraid of competing, you're not a startup. -er. Exactly. You are going to compete, of course. But mm -hmm. in, in, in ISD, we try to do all these um, uh, programs, all these uh, events. So we put together all these brilliant minds and they, a trust that the interaction, the collision between them can help them. Could you share some of the main companies that have joined the district and your short and medium term vision for ISD? For sure. Look, we have Omnicon, that is um, or internet services. We have Ketsai, that I have mentioned, that is in the um, uh, education sector. Mm -hmm. We have Nesa Ker and Kurana, that they apply AI in medical sector. Uh, we have Blairify, Betsky, Redline, that are in blockchain. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have Outplay that is gaming in Peru, yes, in Peru. We have Kruger that is the most important uh, company of technology in Ecuador. Mm -hmm. We have over nine countries of Brazil. So we have over 70 companies and we only have less than one year of existence of, of this program. Yes. Our goal is to have 100 companies and startups by the end of the year and have 200 uh, companies by the end of next year. Our next goal is to get involved in multinational companies. 
in Panama, we're very lucky mm -hmm. and we have over 180 multinational companies. Yes. We have Nestle, we have Adidas, we have a Procter & Gamble. Yeah. And people don't know this, but multinational companies need to collide, to collaborate with the startups. Mm -hmm. Because these big companies, they can't innovate inside themselves because they have uh, KPIs mm -hmm. that they need to respect. Exactly. And innovation is risk. Mm -hmm. It's risk, maybe you're going to scale up, maybe you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And startups are prepared for that. And startups can innovate for other mm -hmm. um, uh, companies as multinationals. And we are very lucky because we're building this startup innovation ecosystem mm -hmm. in a country that we already have 180 multinationals. So mm -hmm. we have the perfect path environment. Em environment for that. Exactly. Looking ahead, how do you see ISD transforming Panama's tech and business landscape in the coming years? Look, Panama has an amazing economy. Yeah. We have the Panama Canal, we have the logistics, we have the construction, we have the services. Uh, people don't know that Panama has multiplied by five, the GDP, no, by seven, sorry, in, in this century. Mm -hmm. The GDP of Panama in the beginning of the century was 12 billion. Now it's over 80 billion. Okay. Uh, that, so this means we have multiplied by seven. So we have a very good economy mm -hmm. in Panama. But the, the, the world is changing, mm -hmm. the game is changing. Yes. And, 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 and we need to transform our economy to be more competitive, to have better services. What are these better services? AI, mm -hmm. blockchain, cloud, um, uh, cybersecurity, um, semiconductors. Mm -hmm. the, the startups, at the beginning, they need to raise money. But what they really do is transform transform the economy, transform the in industry. So thank you to all this movement we are of innovation. At the end, companies from Panama and all around the world will come here to see how transform, to receive high quality services. Mm -hmm. So this could be uh, amazing, no? Yeah, <laughs> amazing. What I love most about ISD is how it brings together innovation, collaboration, and opportunity all in one place. Guillermo, thank you so much for your company today. Thank you very much, Ana Patricia. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more inspiring stories about Panama. See you soon.